Hey, it's Matt with My Florida Home Buyers, and today I'm standing outside a monstrosity of a house that we just purchased right here in Umatilla. Uh, it's it's going to be a pretty good video. This is a very, very strange house. I'll show you what I mean. So the reason this house is so strange, and it's I use the term house loosely here, uh, <laughs> There is, there was a house here uh, originally on this lot, and then there was a duplex down here. Uh, evidently somewhere along the line, somebody bought both lots and connected the duplex to the house by way of this uh, middle piece here, uh, which is currently being used as a bedroom slash living room. Um, so what we have here is a duplex connected to a house with another portion in the middle that's like a big living room um so i'm not sure exactly what the game plan on this one will be i think what we're going to try to do is turn the house into one unit turn the center part into one unit and then turn the duplex back into a duplex so we'll have one two three four units so uh we'll see how that goes um that's the the plan right now but it's going to take a lot of time and effort to actually get plumbing and stuff like that into the center portion, which doesn't have a kitchen or a bathroom or anything like that. So uh, I guess I'll walk you around the outside first. Uh, it's like a football field long <laughs> down to that side. So I'll walk you around back and I'll show you the backyard. Um, and then we'll go through and walk the full length uh, into the, the house, the middle part, and then both of the units of the duplex. So let's take a look. <laughs> I'm kind of sheltered behind this tree here because there's a lot of wind and I don't want the audio to be too distorted. But uh, I walked down the other end here and you can see I was down there. So there's the house. Here's the middle section that's connected onto the house. And then this is the duplex down this end here. Uh, so the duplex is block with a flat roof. The middle section is wood frame. The house is block and the house and this middle section share the same uh, trust roof. Um, so yeah, super interesting. Um, and a lot, a lot of doors and windows to replace. And I don't know if you've seen the price of doors and windows lately, but, uh, it's not going to be cheap. So let me take you around here to the backyard. Um, there is quite a bit of trash, uh, that the seller left behind. So you get to see all kinds of interesting junk. Uh, here's the back here. Now this is the back of the duplex. And then the center portion has this screen porch. And then there's the house down there. And we've also got a uh, storage shed here. So, oh, and then another storage shed over here. <laughs> and this one actually looks like a tree. I think that's what the seller told me was that a tree actually fell in it. Um, tore it up pretty good. Uh, so you can see all that right there. So I don't know if that can be fixed or not. Probably can. Um, I don't know if we want to put the effort into it. And then there's this pretty cool little carport here that I actually might try to figure out how to take apart and take to my property, to my house, so that I can store some equipment under it. Um, so we'll see. I don't know how hard they, they are to take apart and transport. I'm assuming I can just kind of unscrew it and throw the pieces on a flatbed trailer um also something i thought was funny they have all these old uh i guess they're like fair signs so we've got pumpkin chunkin dart pop uh don't tank so they must have done something with oh do you guys hear that somebody's shooting a uh somebody's shooting a gun a machine gun is what it sounds like so uh, we're out in umatilla <laughs> it's just pretty normal. So this, this is the screen porch here. Um, that's on the back of the mid section of the house. And then as we come down to here, here's the back of the actual house house. Um, so, and you can see this one, this is kind of weird too. Uh, that door is like a hobbit door. It's like I have to duck to go through it and it's like four feet wide. So I don't know why they did that. And then there's also this flat section on the back. 
uh, with this little overhang piece. And then we've got the water heater outside here. Uh, this house is, this, this needs a lot of work. <laughs> this one's, this house has got issues. So uh, one of the issues we have, I boarded up, I had to board this shed up because uh, we had some sort of uh, vagrant homeless person, somebody squatter who decided they were gonna uh, just try to live in there. Uh, and the house had only been, the seller moved out about a week ago and we've already got a guy trying to, to move into the shed. So <laughs> uh, it never ends. So um, another thing to point out back here, I think the last thing of interest to anybody would be this big uh, raised septic tank here. That's what that is, that hill there. Um, and so the biggest thing with that is, uh, the question is, is it gonna be big enough to uh, be used for four units if we turn this thing into a, a quadplex? So um, we'll see, I don't know. I haven't really inspected it. Supposedly it was redone several years ago and it's, it's adequately sized for a property of this size. So we'll see, um, but that could be a potential issue down the road. And this property is also on a well. So um, I briefly called the health department and asked, you know, what do we have to do with a well, uh, with a multifamily property? And basically there are a lot of requirements, um, has to be tested uh, regularly um, and all that. So we'll see how that works out with these units here. Uh, the well pump is actually in this little fake well thing here. So um, it's kind of funny. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look inside and I'll walk you through the full length of this monstrosity of a house. All right, so I'm walking inside the house here now. Um, this is the house house section. So. We're starting at one end and we'll work our way to the other end. Um, and I'm hoping the other day when I came in here, the fleas were just unbelievable. Um, so I'm hoping they're a little better today, but I'm not hopeful because I'm already getting bit. <sighs> so um, I've, I've never seen so many fleas in a house before. Um, I chucked 12 bug bombs in here all the way along from one end to the other. And um, seems like it, it's helped, but uh, I'm still getting bit. So if I start dancing around and reaching down and scratching, uh, you know what? <laughs> so this is the, I guess, living room of the house portion of this uh, property. So uh, not in real great shape. Uh, the floor is just kind of concrete. Um, actually the interior walls in here are block, um, but they're not, they're not the big eight inch block. There's some other smaller type of block that they would have used back in uh, 1960s whenever this thing was built. But uh, it'll make it hard for tenants to punch a hole in the wall at least. <laughs> and you can see there's the kitchen. The kitchen is, uh, you know, it's seen better days. I feel like I say that a lot, but it has. So that'll get all redone. Um, walking back here, this is some sort of porch or add-on piece because the ceiling starts to get really low. Um, over here, my head is almost touching, but I know we've got, uh, don't mind me, I'm kicking around all the bug bombs I left in here. Some sort of foam, I guess maybe they were trying to insulate this. I have no idea. Um, and then there's another porch over here. This is kind of behind the kitchen. So here's the, here's the kitchen window here. Um, so I'm thinking this may have once been the outside of the house. So this is that little back porch area where I said about the, the Hobbit door. This thing is literally, I don't even know what, like I'm taller than the door. So the door is probably, I mean, it can't be any more than 5'10 tall. And it's, you know, it's probably 40 inches wide. <laughs> so I have no idea. Oh, another bug bomb. Um, I have no idea why 
Um, maybe they couldn't fit a bigger one because of the low roof. Um, I don't know. This is another window here that I think was part of the original house. And I guess they blocked this in to put in this bathroom, which is on this other side. Uh, so shut that door. Uh, fleas are terrible. Um, so there's a bathroom over here. So this is on the other side and whoops, that is the other side of that window. So, um, whew, I don't know what in the world, I don't know if you can see this or not. This is like, this is like deck board, like composite PVC, like you would use to put on a deck. Um, so we're off to a good start. And then it looks like, from the looks of it, the water, the well water here is pretty terrible because, I mean, look at the, look at the floor. Um, so that could be an issue. Um, yeah, other than that, just a little, little bathroom here. Now, when you come out here, you really appreciate uh, the craftsmanship that went into putting this bathroom in. Um, you can tell from the drywall uh, to the the drywall meeting right up with the the casing here. Um, you can tell this was a professional job. And the way we've got the uh, the thermostat mounted here, and that's another block wall. And then we've got the uh, the panel box here, just kind of just kind of sitting there. Um, it was an effort, not a very good one, but it was an effort. So this, this I guess is a bedroom. Um, there's a closet with a bare block wall. And then we've got just kind of a narrow little bedroom here uh, with a built-in bookcase. And I'm betting this was probably a window um, that they blocked in when they added that middle section that connected the, this house with the duplex down the other end. So that's probably what that is. Uh, all right, let's see. This is this weird hallway thing. Um, we've got another, I don't know, somebody tried to rip the paneling off and then change their mind over here. This house is just full of surprises. So over here, we've got a bedroom, uh, lots of sweet, uh, 70s paneling on the walls, uh, and another closet with just bare block. So, um, you know, at least they're consistent. And then just some other junk in here. I don't really see anything interesting. Some bags of trash and some old mattresses and stuff we're gonna have to get rid of. Uh, let me take you back here. Now this is the room that kind of connects. Uh, let me switch hands here. My arm is getting really tired. Okay, so this is a room that kind of connects. It was a bedroom, I guess, uh, originally, but over here, that's the entrance to the uh, middle section of the house. So this, this is how you get from one to the other. Now, there's no power on right now, but I wanted to show you this place. There's, there's an air handler in here on that side. There's another air handler over here on that side. And we've got all this uh, like nature type Reminds you of a field and a stream catalog. Uh, all this stuff on the paneling, got deer and fish and ducks. Um, so, <laughs> pretty interesting. Uh, no windows in this room though. So, uh, can't be used as a bedroom, I don't believe, because there's no way to get out if it catches on fire. Um, I don't know the exact rules on that, but I feel like we're gonna have a problem there. Um, this, is now the middle part of the house. So this is the part that was added on to connect the duplex of the house. So uh, they right now they've got this thing framed up so that this was the master bedroom, I believe. Um, so it was, it looks like it was just a big open, kind of like a rec room. And then they, here, I'll show you. They kind of framed in. So this is like a big open area. And then they put in this wall and put in this enclosed spot here for a, uh, a bedroom, I guess. So uh, we'll walk down here 
and show you the other part of this. So this is the, that's the bedroom there. So they kind of, they kind of just framed up a box in the middle of the room and put the bedroom in there. Um, so you've got a hallway over here and a door to get to the outside over there. And then otherwise, this whole area is just kind of like a big open living room. And the duplex is here. So that's how you get to the duplex. Um, and the fleas are just tearing me up. Whew! Uh, I'll walk out here on the porch. Maybe I can get rid of them for a second. Get some relief. Uh, so this is the uh, inside of that screen porch you saw from when we were out in the backyard. So nice little screen porch here. Uh, if this if this was um, made into its own unit, this unit would have this entire screen porch to itself, I guess. Um, but nothing really interesting out there. And the fleas are biting me out there too because they're they're also out there. Ugh. I may have to actually pause the video and come back because they are killer. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can power through and get to this duplex. Um, so it gets nasty over here. Um, <laughs> so you come in from the piece that attaches the two, the house and the duplex. This is a bedroom of the duplex here. Um, real disgusting, dirty carpet on the floors. Um, you know, real nasty, uh, not in great shape. And then this would be, as I'm walking into here, this is like the, I guess the living room part of the duplex. So you would come in the front door there. Uh, they've got, they've got this set up as the kitchen. You've got that room, which I just came through and then another bedroom here. And then there is this, oh, another bug bomb. I'm just gonna be kicking them over the entire time, I guess. Uh, that's the door that goes to the backyard, and there's like a water heater. I feel like this could be used a little better, because um, right now it's just kind of like a big closet with a water heater in it. So we'll see. And then the roof is this uh, uh, this wood up here, so uh, it's a flat roof on top, so there's probably not much insulation in between there. And then this must have been blocked off on the duplex and on the other side is that big rec room. So it uh, looks like they tried to do some, some flooring in here. I see a chisel, some knee pads. So they started on that, but I guess gave up because it's, it's hard when you use a chisel like that. Um, this whole side, I don't think has central AC because I'm seeing a lot of window units over here. So I don't think the ductwork actually comes over here. Now, this, that's the other side of the duplex with this door in between. Um, and this is the bathroom. Uh, we've got more quality uh, install work here. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. So we've got We've got this here. Um, I guess this is like that MDF, uh, it's like coated with tile type stuff, that cheap junk that never lasts. So they've kind of got that framed up there and they almost had it, or maybe they had put it together and then it leaked and they pulled it apart. I have no idea. Um, so, and from what I can gather uh, from looking at this, this other side of the duplex doesn't have a bathroom. So what I'm thinking is, and there's two doors here, so let me show you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking there was a wall in between here and to separate both sides of the duplex, and I'm thinking this was actually two bathrooms at one point. And, because it's kind of big, um, I mean, this bathroom is as big as one of the bedrooms in this duplex, so it doesn't make any sense that they would have built it this big. Um, so I'm thinking it was probably opened up into one big bedroom uh, in an effort to make this duplex into one large living unit. Um, so this is the other side of the duplex. And you can see it looks like renovations were underway over here. And they stopped for whatever reason. I uh, probably didn't realize how hard it is. And we do have some newer electrical work, it looks like. And there's another bedroom over here. So 
This one probably had two bedrooms as well. I'm thinking that was probably a bedroom and they probably opened it up. Um, and here's the other bedroom, so. And then we've got a door to go to the outside that looks like it was recently replaced, um, but you can see all the light kind of coming through there. No spray foam or anything. Um, and I don't know, maybe this was the, actually this door. This may be the old Hobbit door because look, it's just, <laughs> it's just as short as the other one. So that was the original Hobbit door. Um, so cool. All right. Well, let me, uh, let me get out of this house because, oh, I think I've lost about a pint of blood since I've been walking through here. Um, so I'm going to get outside, pick these fleas off of me and get this video wrapped up. So see you in just a minute. All right. I think I outrun the fleas and I've got them all off of me. Uh, it'll still feel like they're biting me for the rest of the day. Uh, so that's, that's nice. Um, but uh, I basically just wanted to talk a little bit about how we ended up buying this house and uh, where we ended up finding the seller, how he found us, um, and how it all kind of played out. So uh, basically, he just he called us off the website um, or submitted his information on the website. Uh, piqued my interest right away because he said, "Oh yeah, it's a house with a duplex that's connected," and I was like, "Oh, I got to see this." Um, so I came out here, um, and not to mention I grew up in Umatilla. So anything in Umatilla, I instantly, uh, am more interested in it. So, uh, so I came out, took a look at it. Um, at the time he was, uh, I believe he was trying to convert the duplex, the house and the piece in the middle all into one large house. Um, which is funny cause we're probably going to reverse everything that he did and change it back in the four units. Um, but I think that's what he was trying to do. He had... Uh, it was him and his family, um, a mother-in-law, some uh, extended family and stuff like that living here. And uh, basically, they wanted to move out of here, uh, but they needed to buy a house first in order to move into. And they also had some debt that they needed to pay off. So uh, what we ended up doing was um, we obviously bought it as is. Um, you know, even if he listed with a real estate agent, he'd need a cash buyer for this uh, monstrosity of a property here. Uh, nobody's getting financing on this. So he needed a cash buyer and he knew that he knew the house needed work. So, uh, he decided to cut out the middleman, just go right to the cash home buyer. Um, and that's why he contacted us. So, uh, he needed to find a house to move into though. And right now in Florida, that's or nationwide. That's really hard to do. Um, properties go just like that. So what we ended up doing was we released some of the proceeds at closing, just enough for him to pay off all of his debt. So he had some car loans, stuff like that. So he paid off everything. Um, so he didn't have the creditors breathing down his back anymore. He's, he's done with that. And then he used, we held the remainder of the money. Uh, he went out and found a house that he was interested in buying. Um, he got a loan and, uh, basically when he was ready to close, we released the rest of the money so that he could use that for the down payment and, and stuff like that. So he got to move, uh, seamlessly into his, his new house. Uh, he didn't have to make any repairs to this house and, um, yeah, he made out pretty well. So, and now we've got a, uh, huge, huge project on our hands here. Uh, huge for us. We normally do smaller stuff, but, uh, but it's nothing we can't handle. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. So, so that's kind of how it worked out. Um, I think he stayed here for six months or so after closing while he was looking for a house. So, um, and that's, that's the cool thing about selling to us, right? Is you have that flexibility that you don't get if you're selling with a real estate agent because they, they want you out and they want the new person in, uh, usually. And it's hard to time that stuff, um, you know, in, in a way that makes it easy for you. So if you have a house to sell, or a building like this, a loosely defined house, anything really uh, real estate related in Central Florida, um, especially in Lake County. Like I said, I grew up in Umatilla, so we're always looking for stuff in, in Lake County. Um, but really anywhere in Central Florida, we go all the way down to Orlando. Um, we just uh, bought one in St. Cloud a uh, month or so ago. So we really go all over Central Florida and um, you know we're happy to come out, take a look at it, you know, make you a cash offer on it and and at least give you another option if you're thinking about selling. So if that's something that interests you, just a cash as is, fast sale, maybe you wanna stay in the property after the sale while you look for the next house, some, anything like that, um, give us a call, go on the website, myfloridahomebuyers.com. 
Uh, just submit your property information. Just tell us, you know, the situation, what you've got, and uh, we'll see if it's something that we can help you out with. And, and chances are we can. Um, so yeah, myfloridahomebuyers.com. Just just get in touch with us there, and and we'll get the ball rolling for you. So again, my name is Matt. I'm with My Florida Home Buyers. Have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you on the next video. So I've been calling this thing the Frankenstein house just because it's all these different pieces put together. Um, if you have a better idea of what I can call this thing, uh, let me know, leave a comment, and uh, we'll see if we can get something more creative than the Frankenstein house. But if nobody comments, it's gonna be the Frankenstein house forever.